last 24 hours have been like kind of culminated with walking into this building as the newest member of the Raiders? Yeah, it's been pretty crazy. I feel like it hasn't all, uh, I mean, soaked in yet. Uh, just because last night was a lot of like emotion and stuff, and then went to sleep and got up early and caught a flight out here. So, I mean, it's exciting to um, see where I'm going to be at for the next couple of years, and um, hopefully it's a good, good place. Brock, can you, Hondo Carpenter of Sports Illustrated, can you talk to us about maybe now that you've been picked and them talking about the different ways to use you as a weapon? Yeah, we haven't gotten too much into that yet. I think that'll come more in the next couple of weeks and um, with OTA and rookie mini camp and all that. So, I mean, I'm excited to get to know like how I'm going to use and uh, what's going to happen. I know it's been a short amount of time, but have you had any conversations with me or Chris or any of those guys that you've talked to them yet? I haven't yet. I was going to hit them up, but um, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, felt like felt like a long night last night just waiting around and um, had a bunch of texts. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing them again and reconnecting with that. Brock, uh, you know, coming into the draft, Max Crosby, he said, all he really wanted to get out of this draft was to get to more dogs on the team, to play with more dogs. Do you feel like you'll bring that to the team? Yeah, I feel like I'm a, I'm a hard work guy and uh, it's always competing, so I mean, I love to compete. And I feel like that's uh, something I bring to the table every day in practice. I mean, I'm going to be trying to um, just win every rep. Well, kind of an extension of that. Um, congratulations, by the way. I think uh, kind of the story of your last season at Georgia, you, you underwent ankle surgery, came back, and such a short time frame. I know you didn't want to make a big deal of it at the time. I talked about it a little bit, but looking back, what was that process like? How hard was it to get back on the field so quickly? And does that kind of speak to your mentality? Yeah, I mean, when it happened, like, some of the coaches were like, you can come back or not. Like, I mean, it's, it's quite a few, but I was like, man, watching everyone still out there playing, watching all my guys play, I wanted to be, be back out there and uh, try to help the team win. So I mean, that's kind of what my mindset was. And then, uh, yeah, so I ended up being able to come back. So it was good. Brock, I know in high school you played pretty much a little bit of everything position-wise. Do you think that helped you at all when it comes to improving as a level of player? Yeah, I mean, definitely. You got to know so many different things, like move positions and everything like that, and like playing defense, too, in high school. And um, I mean, even at Georgia, they did they moved me around a decent amount, so I mean, it was, it's, it's a lot of fun to move around like that. Brock, what have been your overall impressions so far at the facility, just meeting Antonio Pierce, initial thoughts in Las Vegas? I mean, it's been awesome. I mean, uh, it still feels kind of surreal. Like I mean, I feel like um, <laughs> when it's kind of crazy, this is my new home, and this is where I'm going to be spending the next couple of years. So I'm excited. Being that you did play all those different positions in high school, and that some some universities are even recruiting you for other positions, was there a point uh, that you can recall in high school or whatnot that you just that you knew that tight end was your future? In football? Yeah, I mean, I guess it wasn't really a a point that would like kind of hit me, but. It was kind of always like a field thing. I always felt like I was better at tight end. I like catching the ball and trying to score instead of, I mean, this is kind of my favorite thing to do is go score with the ball in my hand. How'd you, you first five football? Oh, How'd you first five football way back when? And when did you first start thinking the NFL was really going to happen for you? Man, I mean, uh, I mean, football has always kind of been in the back of my mind. I mean, I remember watching uh, NFL games on like Sunday and Monday and playing catch like in the living room, just watching games and being like, man, I want to be there one day. And, um, but I think all got kind of real, like after my freshman year in college, and I was like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a shot at this, like, and uh, go do it and live out my dreams. So, yeah. Were you so, surprised that you were able to have such success so early on, especially in you know the SEC? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I came in there and just kind of put my head down and just went to work, and I mean, just wanted to help the team win any way I could. could and um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, uh, that, that was definitely special coming in there and being able to make an impact early. Spoke with somebody who covered you in Georgia last night, and they said that you were a prolific film watcher. Where did that come from with you, out of guy being such a student of the game, watching film? Yeah, I think that had to do with a little bit of like the uh, coach influence. Like, I mean, you, if they say you want to be great, you got to watch film and uh, study your opponent. And I mean, just kind of want to do my best in every single game situation, be prepared for the game. So, I mean, you got to do your best. Yeah. Are there uh, you know specific tight ends you you studied on film to get better as well? Yeah, I mean, I like watching. I like watching a little bit of NFL tape and getting to know what those guys do. I mean, um, like Mark Andrews, Kelsey Kittle, all of those guys. Um, it's fun to watch. So you gotta ask, growing up in Napa, were you a Raider family or what? what how did that work? Well, we're, we're, we're a little bit of the Niners. We, we, we like the Niners a little bit, but uh, the Raiders did uh, their training camp in Napa. So I used to uh, at my middle school actually. That was my middle school they went. So it was pretty. It's pretty cool. I'll come full circle like that. 
how quickly like, last night did everybody switch over from Niners to Raiders in the family? <laughs> oh, I mean, it was, it was about there were a lot of Raiders fans there though. Yeah, a lot of people like the Raiders from Napa. So you talked you talked about the training you know training camp being there when you were when you were young. I mean, has, has it kind of dawned on you of like like thinking back of watching them train and now you're part of that organization? It's pretty crazy. I mean, like someone told me that I would I would be a part of that team and that organization. I'd be like, no, like no way. Like, but yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy how it all comes around. When I was in high school, it felt like you wanted to go down south and play in the SEC and kind of push yourself against the best. Was that sort of the, the thought process behind uh, making that decision and going down there to Edward? Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone always said the SEC had the best competition and everything like that. So wanted to go somewhere where that was the case. And, we won some football games, so I think we, we did that. You might have won more football games than just about anyone uh, the, the last few years. What can you bring from being a part of that winning culture and what you guys built at Georgia and bring it uh, here right away? Yeah, I think the culture at Georgia was really good. I mean, uh, we had like win standards and the standards was everything there. So I mean, I hope it, um, I'm excited to see what we got going on here and uh, just get after it. You were on the team with Samir White. I'm excited for you to kind of be reunited with him as well. Yeah, Zamir and uh, Chris Smith both were uh, players with them, so I'm excited to uh, reconnect with them. I mean, hopefully learn things about the area and around the building. I mean, excited. You know, Zamir's always talking to us about all the things he likes to do outdoors. I know you're a big outdoors guy, too. Do you think uh, is there going to be enough uh, around here to uh, satisfy you in that regard? I, mean, I hope so. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. Have you been to Vegas? Are you know, excited to be picked to be in this city? Yeah, I'm super excited. I mean, it's uh, definitely closer than Georgia to home, so uh, that makes flights a little easier for my for my friends and family and stuff, and um, going back home. So, yeah, I'm definitely excited to get to know the area more, and uh, yeah. Just on the pre-draft process, you know, any interviews that you kind of had with uh, AP, you know, what's your initial thoughts of just him as a coach and as a person? Yeah, I mean, he's awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm so excited to be able to play for a coach like that, and um, I mean, I'm just ready to get to work and uh, see how everything rolls out here. I know you've only, you've only been in the league for like 12 hours now or something, but I mean, have you thought like long term, what are your goals? What do you want to accomplish in the league? Yeah, I, mean, I haven't thought much about long term goals. I mean, I'm more focused on like what I can do right now and um, just be as prepared as I can for rookie mini camp and uh, everything upcoming this next year. So I mean, I'm, I'm excited to just try to do whatever, like, whatever I can to help the, help the team win and uh, just do me. So you got mom and dad here. I'm sure they drove you to a lot of practices over the years and got you to. Seven on seven tournaments. Um, what's it like to be able to have them here at this moment? Yeah, it's pretty awesome having them here. Obviously, um, they support me through it all, and they've been uh, they've been there with me every step step of the way. So, um, I mean, I'm sure I'll continue. And uh, I mean, yeah. Who's who's the best athlete in your family? That's always a big argument. Uh, <laughs> I usually let those they, they, them argue, but my parents argue about it. But uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> Brock, uh, just thoughts on, you know, sharing the tight end room with Michael Mayer. It's, it, it doesn't seem like it's very, you know, often you'll have two pretty high draft pick tight ends so young, you know, in the same tight end room together. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to get to work with him. And, uh, I mean, hopefully he can teach me a thing or two. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I remember watching him in college and at the next level. So, I mean, I'm excited to uh, see what happens and meet with all the guys. Yeah, good. All right. Thank you, Brock. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.